Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm in my car. I just finished work and uh, if you remember I had posted this on my Instagram and I was like, do you guys know what it is? Um, nobody guessed right, but that's okay. <laughs> it's fine, but I'm filming this right now because I'm pretty sure it's arrived. I can't see because there's like a bush in the way, but I'm pretty sure it's here. So uh, let's go see. Um, I actually shipped this in from Thailand, so I'm excited. Ooh, it's here. It's here. Okay, you guys, it's here. I'm excited. So let's go inside and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so we're back in my plant room and I'm kind of out of breath because I got really excited and it's very hot right now. Um, if you don't already know, I had actually purchased tissue culture, specifically Monstera Thai Constellations because why not, right? Um, I'm stoked, look at these. I have three and they look so good. They're very well rooted. Like look at this, the roots on this looks insane, it's unreal. And they ship pretty well. So these are actually from the same seller as the, um, the other ones that I have back there and I guess I should show you an update. It's been several weeks now and they've been growing quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to move them into their own little individual um, pots, but yeah. And they feel really good too. Like they don't feel like crap or mushy. And I see a baby leaf popping up over here. So I'm gonna show you how I'm going to acclimate and rinse it out of this baggie and yeah. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> All right, so we're in my kitchen and that's simply because we need to remove these guys from the packaging and just give them a rinse. Um, I know some people like to use like iodine to clean them and all that stuff, but I'm not gonna do that. My other plants did fine. What I'm actually gonna do is rinse off the agar and then I'm going to let it soak in hydrogen peroxide to remove any debris or whatever um, just because there are some areas that look like they've been rotting a little bit like right here see that black leaf that's rot so you don't want that um, so yeah let's not overcomplicate things right now <laughs> let's just remove them out of their baggie and rinse off the agar and just let it soak The roots on this guy look so good and it has a little baby leaf coming out. I'm actually really very impressed and I am using just warm water to remove the agar and anything that's like kind of not doing so hot I will remove but this one even though it's kind of like yellowing and doesn't look too good I'm just gonna let it try to do its thing because you just never know right? So. This one looks so good. The roots on this looks thick <laughs> with two C's. And like I said, this one is kind of yellowing. I'm just gonna pull that off and this one as well because we don't need it. And it's unfurling a new leaf for me already. So yeah, nothing too complicated. I always just kind of like rinse off the agar and anything that looks kind of dead. And now I'm actually just gonna let them soak in water and hydrogen peroxide while I go get 
it's um it's soil ready so yeah we'll be back all right so you're probably wondering how much hydrogen peroxide am i using in my little mixture and to be honest with you i have no idea um <laughs> in this particular case i'm just gonna use a cap full like this into there and i guess i should show you just how big my tupperware is and how much water i used so this is my tupperware that's how much water i use and yeah i'm just gonna let it sit and disinfect the roots if there's any rot or fungus or whatever's growing in here and um that'll probably be like 10 minutes and that'll give me enough time to go mix the soil so i'll be back all right so let's get started so these guys have just been sitting here soaking for a little bit now and um it's been about 10 minutes i'm still gonna let it do its thing um i've got my soil mix here so it's just your tropical soil that already has perlite and some other stuff in it but i went ahead and added some pumice and some orchiata bark because the thing is, I've noticed that Thai constellations seem to have um, root rot issues and I know that they're tissue culture and perhaps they won't have the same problem as, you know, um, the one of the monsteras that grow out in the wild, but I'm not going to risk it. So I'm going to make this mixture as chunky as I can and yeah, I think that's good enough. And I also have my trusty potting mat here. This is actually one of my newer designs. It brings me a whole lot of joy because there's like a spaceman and it actually says, keep it clean. So it made me happy. And I also have this. So I purchased this um, nursery pot off of Amazon and I'll link it down below for you. But they're super cute because they have their own little dome situation here and I opted for this one just because the roots on this looks intense so <laughs> I didn't think it would actually fit in um like the other small greenhouse that I have so we're gonna go with these ones today and I'm probably gonna transfer some of my other uh tissue cultures into here as well so these were cute and handy so let's get started all right so this isn't very complicated. <laughs> it really isn't. So we're just going to go ahead and plant this up. I've got my, one of my Thai constellations here looking pretty good. The roots look really good and I think it'll do pretty well in here. What I am going to do is actually plant it a little further down so that it's not, um, I don't know, so that it's not sitting up top because I feel like it's going to get root rot that way. So I'm probably just gonna plant it a little further down like this, as opposed to like this. It's just gonna sit a little lower. And the reason why I'm choosing to have it sit a little lower is because when I put the dome over on top of it, it'll create more humidity for this plant. And I find that if you give your plant a lot of humidity, it just acclimates a lot better and faster. At least for me, it has anyways. And over here, I have me some water and I did add a couple of drops of my HB 101 and I know before I chose not to use this because the roots weren't very um, well developed but as you can see the roots on these Thai constellations look intense like for example this one right here that's insane looks pretty good to me and I've noticed that these tissue cultures or at least these ones that I received, they don't have any um, like clusters because the other ones that I had, I couldn't really separate them. 
I had no idea what I was actually separating to be honest with you because they were grown in such clusters but these guys are pretty legit and they're like their own individual plant so that is the reason why um, I'm gonna give it some HB 101 so it can continue rooting and uh, you know finish unfurling so I'm gonna go ahead just give it a little bit of water not too much just make it damp or moist or whichever and that's it so I do want to let you guys know that these little caps or domes they do have holes uh, you can go ahead and cover them if you would like I'm actually gonna kind of let it be because it's fairly um, like because the plant itself is fairly large and the roots look really established I don't really want to do too much to it so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna cover the hole I'm just gonna let it be all right so I went ahead and went off camera and potted up the other two and I decided to have these two sit a little bit taller just because the roots were more established and thicker and bigger than the first one so these ones just sit a little bit taller um, but yeah this is how they look and you know what <laughs> I will say don't pick it up from the lid because they're kind of crap I'll let you guys know that now if they're don't do that grab it from the bottom because I don't need anybody leaving any comments down below saying that uh, they destroyed their plants so you have my warning grab it from below and maybe tape it down too <laughs> so I'm excited to see how these are gonna grow uh, they look really good already so it's kind of exciting I think they'll acclimate pretty well in a couple of weeks and um, yeah I'll do another video to update you guys on how my other tissue cultures are doing uh, actually I'll just take you guys over right now all right so two of my tissue cultures are in this cabinet and the other one I had moved into that cabinet simply because I think this grow light is too strong for it and it was actually kind of frying my um, my leaves like they just weren't happy they're like kind of shrivelly like this one but um but yeah I swear I think this Florida beauty I think this is like a variegated leaf like it's happening. <laughs> um, I do need to repot this, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that today as well. Um, because look at this, the roots look intense. Actually, I guess I should just take it over and show you guys how they look up close and personal. So we'll do that too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys just out of the way so that I can show you my Florida beauties and look at it. It's doing pretty good. And this one right over here is very lime greenish to me, which is awesome because I've noticed that sometimes my Florida Beauty will just put off some lime greens before they go variegated. So I'm excited. And it's probably one of the ones that I have to repot because look at the roots on this. It's just coming right out of there. So I'm happy. And a few of my other ones are doing pretty good too. So we're going to go ahead and repot these guys into their own little individual domes. All right, so I have no idea how I'm even going to pull this out from its container. Um, but wish me luck because this is terrifying. Like it really is. Because it's coming out of the holes. I don't know how I'm going to pull it out. Mm. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed um, like a little flathead thing and kind of scraped the sides so that I can pull it out. And voila. Here we go. Check her out. Oh, this is so exciting for me. This is just 
this is perfect this is perfection right here so i'm gonna go off camera and just pot these bad boys up all right so here we are it's all potted up and i think you can see just how lime green it is in comparison to like the older leaves like this is way darker and more green in comparison to the new ones here and you know what sometimes your florida beauty can give you like an all lime greenish leaf and that's just part of its genetics and you know the next one will be variegated so hopefully in the next couple of weeks i'll get some variegated leaves once i do i'll definitely update you guys and um, i'm not going to actually put these guys in a dome just because i do want them to acclimate to regular humidity and room temperature eventually so i can sell them off but yeah i'm excited and you know i hope you guys enjoy videos like this this was very like spur of the moment and i don't know i was pretty excited and just wanted to take you guys on a ride with me and show you my excitement so here we are <laughs> in any case if you guys do enjoy videos like this please hit the subscribe button and drop a comment down below and i'll see you guys next time bye